Hello everybody, here we are in Cebu and we are going to visit one of the most attractions right here in this city which is the Yop San Diego Ancestral House and this house was built 300 years ago by a prominent Chinese so we are going to go inside and see how the prominent Chinese used to live 300 years ago this is one of the oldest houses here in the Philippines 155 uh, Lopez Avenue right here and this is the doorway to this 300 year old house we walk in here there's some old pictures right over here from the Spaniards some of, the, some of these pictures may not be new but there's a lot of old art uh, artifacts in this house and Let's go ahead and shoot. Can you give us information? Are you gonna be uh, our tour guide here, here, sir? Yeah. Okay. Sir, good afternoon. So welcome to the San Diego Ancestral House. So this house was built um 1675. So as of now, considered as one of the oldest house in the Philippines. In the whole Philippines. Yeah. And possibly the oldest Chinese home outside from China. And according to the Department of Tourism, the structure of this house is still on 95% original. That's how good they yeah. built it. Yeah. So what did they build this house with? Um, like one, this uh, lower part of the house, it's made out of coral stones. Coral stones. Yeah, original pillars and post Philippine hardwood. In our term, we call it bayo. And what do you mean by Philippine hardwood? That means no insect, nothing can damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a it's hard. This yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so hard. It's not so easy. So I'm touching for... here the piece of wood that was cut about 300 years ago to build this house. Please go ahead, sir. Yeah. But all of these collections that you can see right here, all of the artifacts from lower to upper part of the house, compilation from 16th century, 17th until 18th century. And original owner of this house, Chinese merchants, Yap family, but now it was under the custody of San Diego. What Filipino. do you mean Chinese merchant? Did he used to bring stuff from China? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were the first Chinese settlers here in Cebu because the area here before was considered as Chinese community. So all of the people who lived here were Chinese merchants. That was way back late 17th century. But now, why it was owned by a Filipino family? Because Filipino got married to the fifth generation of the Yap way back 1880s. So that's why the house was so called from Yap, San Diego Ancestral House. So, okay. so this two one, families, yeah. Mr. Yap yeah. and Mr. San, San Diego. Diego. Please come on in here, dining room area. Riding picture. Is all of those, I mean, all of these family frames, present owner now, a generation, but they still sleep here last night and they will be back here tonight also. It's because they're still using the bedroom upstairs until so, now. So, the, or the new owner of this house yeah. are still using this old house. Do they live here on weekend? Oh, so they come on, on a beach and for a leisure, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, just like stay. rest house, yeah. Okay. But I was gonna ask you if there not nobody lives here, I was gonna rent and come on. Yeah. Here. Actually, as caretakers, we live here the whole the weekend at home, man. You are a lo here. you are a lucky man. Yeah, because we oh. have this house as residential, but you know what? It's it's uh, a museum that is really, I mean convincing it's a museum that people could have I mean enjoy the whole thing it's because we allow pictures video even try sitting on the chairs you can even gently touching on the materials yeah. Yeah, would you tell us a little bit about these antiquities yeah. that are over here so these, these jars, jars the boreal jars what kind boreal Burial. Joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you it, put uh, dead body. Uh, okay. The yeah, ashes. Yeah, ashes. Okay. Before. So you put the ashes. Yeah. Is one body takes this much ash? No. No. Like the dead bodies are smaller. Oh, yeah. But these are for that. Yeah. Oh, is there any ashes in here right no, now? No, 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 no. 
Too bad. They have to clean up everything there. But the exact arrangement of the house before doesn't look like this since lower part it used to be just a warehouse. Okay. Oh, right. oh, 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 so it's made out from bamboo and ivory. It's a magic dice. Oh, wow. so this is one of the old games that you can actually play this on the computer now. Yeah. Okay. And I'm holding one of the oldest game and what, what, what are these for? I mean, no, uh, no, we have dice. Yeah, that's so the numbers down. come. Yeah. Okay, they're numbered. Magic sticks. These are magic sticks and they've got numbers. Each one of them's got numbers. This one says two. So if you throw this all together, five, uh, uh, five, one, and how many is this? I think two of them. This one has a lot on it. And and then the dice that they're going to play. And there are some Chinese kanji writing on this. I don't know what it says. They're characters. Chinese have characters instead of alphabets. I think it's about 5,000 of them. And these are the numbers, right? Yeah. Okay. But I don't know how to play this one. But no, it's commonly played here. Yeah, it's commonly played in the computer too. I'll go on the computer and learn. And we are into, inside of a different room, right? God, I love this video. What is this room all about? And, and in the old time, the people who lived here, they just sat down right here on the chair, looked outside at the tea, people going by, horses, kids playing, and just, just like a big TV. Enjoy That's the practical TV. way of Windows Live Chat. And we are on the second floors, and all the windows are open. So Philippines is hot, but up here feels cool because I'm getting trapped from everywhere. So the very well built house, I can live here. And this is the window that goes to the courtyard. Yeah, what a beautiful yard. Any of these trees go back, these are all new trees, right? A small yard, courtyard, and they've got a well over there, so they got their water from there. The morning room, okay? And this is a typical chair, commonly used now as relaxing chair. But originally it was taken from a real birthing chair for giving birth. It's a comfort chair. You sit down and feel comfortable. Lean your body down. And you, you lay down. Yeah, and you can put your legs and, in each of the arms. you can put your drink or something over there, but also this was a birthing chair. Birthing chair means when the woman is going to have the child, she should lay right over here, put one foot up here, put one foot over there, and the person in front would Assess deliver the, the baby. I didn't have any baby, did I? <laughs> Oil lamp, right? Okay, see, this is, what dynasty is this? Okay. Sad thing is the, the family don't feel the details information. Was this Chinese family Christianized? Because I see a lot of Christian <laughs> lyrics around here. And these are some they old, got, old. They got the eyes, the Chinese. Oh, the Chinese. Uh, so, but this is actually Mama Mary. That's yeah. a Chinese, Chinese Mama version. Mary. Chinese version. Chinese version. So it is Mama Mary. Mary it's, yeah. it's not Buddha or anything. Yeah. Right? The Chinese, Chinese Buddha. Okay. The Chinese Mama Mary. Okay. We are here. And the cooking area, the kitchen, so where they put the wood here, they put the wood right here, yeah. they put the wood right over here, and they did their cooking right you know what? This is, over here. It's a rask for mixing. Yeah, this is a rask for mixing. Yeah, you cannot use this way like this one. Oh, you use it up and down, huh? Yeah, you, you hold the top. You hold yeah. the top. Oh, so this is, this is very modern. This is automatic, you don't have to go like that, so you just put it inside the food, go up and down, and it does the job, and it's very easy, and the equipment, being so old, still works in perfect condition. Thank you. So what's for dinner here? Wow, I can, I can cook right here. I can